Hey guys, welcome back to our productivity tips and tricks video series. Today, we are gonna be working with SharePoint Online. And in this particular video, I'm gonna be showing you how you can send a document for approval to a manager, to a coworker, so that you can get feedback on those documents relatively quickly. Well, let's get started. All right, so the way in which we send a document for approval or for sign off is we need to go into our SharePoint environment into the document library that has your particular document that you need approval on. So I'm in my document library, you can see, and I will go and head on to my East Region quarterly sales that needs to get signed off before we can actually move it along and we can start processing certain things. What we need to do is select the file and from the ribbon above here, oh, it's, it's not here, so let's hit the action button and you'll see an option called flow. Now the option we want from here is called request sign off. Let's go and select that. While that loads up, this is going to create a connection to flow. It's then going to ask us who we'd like to send the document to. And that person's going to receive an email asking them to approve or accept the document. They'll get a link to the document where when they click it, they'll open it up and they'll be able to view it. My approver is going to be Megan. We'll say thank you for Megan. So let's go, hey Megan. Oh. I need your approval on the numbers, please. And that's it. All we have to do now is click on run flow. That's gonna send a request to Megan. She's gonna get an email and she's gonna be able to go ahead and click to assign that document. What you can see within my browser now is there was a sign off status column that appeared and this document has now been sent and it's pending. Megan's gonna receive the information on her side and if she approves it, it'll say approved. If she rejects it, it'll say rejected. So logging in as Megan, you can see that she has a mail that says please approve the East Region quarterly sales. When we go ahead and select it, we can scroll down, we can see that was created this particular date, the request, the details, and a link to the document. Megan can go ahead and click this document, which will open up Excel within her browser, and she can view the document. She has the ability to approve and reject. I'm gonna go and approve it. And let's do it. So now we can approve directly in our mail body. So Megan's approved it. Let's go take a look back at our file. We can see immediately and we get a notification that the file has been approved, the sign of status is approved, and we also get this pop-up. So that's how we complete and send a document for approval. So thank you guys for watching. Bye.